Today I'll show you the easiest free tools to create a shop page like this, which looks premium and has all the features like search box, product filters, product images, name, price and more. We'll do everything step by step so that it's easier to follow. To create a shop page, we are going to use a free plugin called Shop Engine because it's easy to use and has a drag and drop feature like this. Best thing about this plugin is that it provides pre-made templates, which has all the basic features that we need for our shop page. Now, you should know that adding images, plugins, and other customizations can slow down even a new website and drive away customers. So, whenever you're building a new site, remember to first install a free plugin called LF. I will go to this website. I'll put my website URL here. Click continue and then Elif does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, a good CDN, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just Elif is enough. There are many other cool features as well. And that's why most people get a 90 plus score in the first go. And in the rare occurrence that you don't, you just need to ping the support here and they will take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. To install the plugin, go to your WordPress dashboard. On the left, go to plugins, add new plugins, and here search for shop engine. This is the plugin we will use. So let's install and activate it. Now on the left, you'll see the shop engine tab. So let's click on it. Here enable all the modules you want on your product page. Next go to widget, again enable whatever you need from the list. I have enabled all the basic features that I need and if you want you can follow the same. Next let's go to the builder templates and here we will create a shop page. On the top I'll click on add new, I'll add a name to the template like this. Then select the page type as shop from this drop down menu. Before I make this page active I want to make few changes in the shop page. So I'll keep this off and select this template as my shop page. Once done hit save changes. Now to edit the template we chose earlier, I'll go here and click on edit with Elementor. The first thing I'll do is edit this header. So I'll click it and on the left in the advanced section, I'll decrease the padding size like this. Next, I'll go to the style section and add a background image like this. I'm going to click on the background overlay and select a color from here. Awesome. Now to give a fade effect on the header, I'll increase the opacity a little bit and this is how it looks. Next, let's customize the product search box quickly. On the left, you can see that I have enabled all of these options, but I'm going to disable the category drop down because I'm going to add filters later on. You can go to the style tab and advanced tab to mess around with the settings for borders, font, colors, etc. I like it simple, so I won't change anything here. Since I used a pre-built template, it automatically makes a product list of all the products that are live on my site. Now to add filters on the left and all my products on the right, I'm gonna remove this section and select this column. I'll search for the widget on the left like this and drag it here like this. Next, I want to add additional details on my products like discount badge, wishlist button and more. So let's click on the container. I'll enable all the features that I want on my page, including the flash sale badge. Next. In pagination, you can change the navigation icons on the page numbers below our products. In the ordering list, I'll enable cart feature and rating feature on all the products. Just go through these settings and enable whatever you need on your page. In the style section, I can change the look and feel of my product by changing its size, colors, padding, etc. As this looks perfect to me, so I won't change it. Next, to add product filters on the left, I need to install a free plugin called Husky. So let's save this template from here and I'll go back to my dashboard. From the left, I'll select plugins, add new plugins. Here, I'll search for Husky. This is the plugin we need. So install and activate it. Once it's active, go to WooCommerce, select settings. Here, you will see product filters. Just click it. Now enable all the filters that you want on your shop page like this. For example, I'll also change how I want the feature to be available on the page. Like for the color choices, I want a drop down menu. So I will go here and select multi drop down like this. I'll do the same for this one as well. And once done, let's save these changes by clicking here. Now, I don't want to get into additional settings here because this will make the tutorial long. 
and it's not needed here, right? So if you want to learn more about these filters in detail, then click the video above. Now that we have set up our filters, let's make it live on our shop page. So on the left, go to appearance and select widgets. Scroll down till you find product sidebar. Click here and search for Husky in this box. Here it is. So let's add them and on the top, click update. Next, go to shop engine and select builder templates. In this section, I'll select the shop page I created earlier. Click here to edit with Elementor. On the left, I look for the widget called sidebar and drag it to this section. Now from this drop down, choose product. Let's save it by clicking here. Awesome, our shop page with all the features is ready. But there is one last thing we need to do before we finish this tutorial. Remember we had to activate the shop page on the builder template. Let's do that quickly. I'll go to the builder templates, select my template from here and toggle this switch to active. Great, my shop page is live now. Let's see if everything works properly. So I'll go to my website, go to shop page. So I'll test the price filter first. Works fine. Next I'll try to wishlist the product and yeah, this works fine too. Let's test if add to cart works properly. I'll add this one and click on view cart. And yeah, this works perfectly. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.